It doesn't matter if you are an artist for 20 years already and have the best deals with galleries or if you're just starting right now. Everyone has some sort of issues when it comes to the art market. So today I want to bring for you eight ways on how you can make more money selling your art. I will explain better. Come with me. Hi, I'm Sira. I was born in an artistic family and as an agent, manager and producer, I've worked for many years selling artists from all around the world. Today, I want to help you to become a full-time artist. Hello, I am Sira and I'm here to help you to become a full-time artist. And for you to become a full-time artist, you need to sell your art. You need to receive money from your creations so you can support your art, yourself, and your family. When you need to receive more money to support all those things, the first thing that comes to your mind is how can I make more money selling their artwork? It is basically two ways to do that. You can charge more for the products that you already have, or you can increase the number of sales that you have, make those deals happen. So the eight tips that I will give here to you will help you in both ways. My first tip is improve your connection with your audience. When we are a fan of an artist, we consider the artwork itself as something valuable, but more important than that is the connection that we imagine that we have with the artist. I want to let all these kids down here. <laughs> there was no The better this relationship, the more valuable the final product is for me. So if you are the type of artist that don't talk with your audience, that don't appear often on your social media, or that really don't ask questions to people that are following you, maybe if you invest more on doing exactly that, you can have a better result when you put your art out there. People will build this relationship with you, they will trust you, and they will like what you do better. This will work for both ways. They will invest more money on the artwork that you already have in the market, but they also can start to have more sales over time and this will help you to have a better cash. Another thing that you can do is have better materials. I know, part of the value of your art comes from the connection that you have with your audience. The other part comes from the art itself. So if the first part is pretty emotional and completely intangible, the second one is exactly the opposite. If you buy better canvases, create with better ink, or if you are not a painter and you are a musician and you start to have a better finalization of your music, a better mixing, uh, more interesting covers for your singles, all of those things will increase the value of your final art. People will see that you put better materials there. They will understand that it has more quality. And if it has more quality, it's worth more money. So imagine that you have these two main parts to work with. Each one of them will impact your audience in a different way, but no matter what, both will increase the value that you can have on the mind of your customer. My third tip is make it bigger or make it smaller. Sometimes you create some sort of artwork that you love so much and you're putting out there to sell and it's never selling. It's not because people are not interested in that. Maybe you receive people liking this picture all the time, emails about this artwork, comments about that, and you can understand that people have interest in that. So why it's not selling? Maybe the price is not right. It doesn't mean that you need to change your price. Maybe you can just change the work itself. So I see some artists that they keep the idea that they have in the beginning, since people are already connected with this idea, and they make the same thing bigger. So now people can see why this is more valuable. And now that same price can adapt to what you want. Or the other way around, maybe you receive a commission work and you prepare everything for the money that your buyer wants to spend on you. 
However, by the end, they really don't like what you're offering, they think that it's too expensive. So instead of changing your price, you can make it smaller. So you would have less costs to produce that art piece, you keep the same price that you have before, your customer will be happy to receive something that he asked you for and for the price that they asked for and everyone will be happy with this deal. I need to tell you that I have a full masterclass for free. How can you take the leap and become the artist that you want to become? It's not a sales pitch. In this masterclass, I will help you with a real training that will give you the step by step. So if you want to check this, go here in this website and you watch a two hour class totally for free so you can start to be a full-time artist right now. The fourth thing you can do is create limited editions. So sometimes you create something that people like, but you just have one piece of that and you need to charge a lot because it's just one piece. So what about create some copies or some prints of this one? You can create a limited edition for your prints and have just 20 different arts to sell. If you decide to do that, you are telling people that this is unique talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before, unafraid to reference or not reference, put it in a blender, shit on it, vomit on it, eat it, give birth to it. Since you just have 20 of those in the whole world, but at least they are not so unique that you need to charge so much. People will still feel that buy this artwork is a special thing to do, but they will have access to that for less money. If you decide to do that, be sure that you are putting numbers in each one of these copies. So people know if they have the number one, two, three, fifteen out of 20 and they know how many copies you have in total. The less copies you have, the more expensive each one of them can be since they are more valuable. The more copies, the cheaper you can make and maybe you have better deals for your customers. Also, don't forget to sign it. It's really important that you sign everything you do, even limited editions. People will start to see that if you're putting your name there, if you are assuming that you were the creator of that work, this is something that you consider special, so they should consider special as well. And when you are signing your artwork, try not to put exactly in the corner of your canvas or paper or whatever the medium you're using. Lots of people, when they buy those artworks, they frame them. And your frame will go from one to three inches from the corner. So have this in mind when you're signing your artwork so your signature can be visible even if the art is framed. When you put your signature, it's also interesting, and I see this a lot, for you to put something that will communicate where people can find more. Some people like to put their Instagram handle, their website, or the name of the studio. The most important thing is people need to be able to read whatever you put there. Your signature can be freehand, but those characteristics that you're going to put with your signature need to be easy to read and understand. Why? Because people will read this if not the people who bought, but the people who will visit these people. Your signature will become also part of your promotion and you can have better deals or more deals if other people have access to you. You also can improve your presentation. And what I mean by presentation is anything that comes with your artwork. If your website is better than it's right now, if they buy from you and receive in an amazing package, but you send some stickers, a letter from yourself, maybe a handwriting one, or something that maybe people will receive and feel that they are special. Just for you. <laughs> what will 
make people spend more money or buy more. So take your time, be creative and try to imagine how the presentation of your final product can be better. You're a musician, try to invest on your concerts. You write books, better covers. You create amazing dances. Maybe you can put your audience to dance with you. You also can create urgence. Is when you tell people that they can have this artwork, but they have a time to do that. So if they like that, they know that they have a limited time to have access to this artwork. And this can make people take action. One thing that's really important to know is that you are not going to change anyone's mind when you create urgence. If they already have a decision on their mind that they have interest in on buy that specific art from you, they will do that faster. And with this action going on, you will start to receive more money faster. So this is a very interesting way for you to movement your inventory faster. If you are creating a lot of new artworks, if you are investing in a new type of collection, try to do that to take away from your studio the old things that you have there. It's almost like people do in clothing stores. You can use this very successful model and apply to your business model. And by the end, but not less important, I love the idea of great certificates of authenticity. The certificate of authenticity says to people that you are the artist responsible for that artwork, that artwork is unique and that artwork is original. Maybe if you are not super famous right now, the certificate of authenticity will just come like a better presentation. But who knows? Maybe in a couple of years, we start to get really well known. I guess we're just gonna have to drive to Susan's house and deliver some Chanelloween presents in person. It's all Hi, about Susan. Thank you so much. And if this happened, this certificate we will start to value a lot of money. And if it comes with your artwork, the artwork itself is start to value more money. And as an artist, if your creations overall is start to value more money, your brand as an artist, it's also more valuable. So invest on these details. So when people receive them from you, they will understand how important you are, how important your art are, and how valuable everything you are creating is. It is worthwhile. See you next week.